you still call him in him, so 100 yards back. Shit, I'm not gonna bunny up that, am I? One pull up, let's get out of here. Gutted, been a dog in, in the woods, isn't it? Is it? Literally wriggled across the road in front of me. It's quite atmospheric, this, isn't it? So that's not good. Oh, good God, if at all. Look at stones. It may not have been his motorbikes, I don't know. I've got to try this, haven't I? Oh, it is a BMX track, I suppose. There's a church, which is also a roundabout. Fair play. He's not a young bloke either. Oh, if you got a mountain bike, I'd be flying down here. We're just past the castle on our left. Here he is, Dylan Thomas. Jesus Christ. A 15% ill. This is insane. How's it going, bro? Fucking good to see you. Oh my God. How's it going? You haven't seen me for ages. Cruising on speed, we got more than we'll ever need a way to life sweet. Perfect, thank you. Ambition is fucking critical. What does that mean? So right here is the site of one of the most famous movie scenes of all time. What do you mean you don't know? Of course you know. This here is the scene of the famous scene from the movie Twin Town that you must have heard of. The scene where he goes, ambition is fucking critical. I got three words for it. Pretty shitty city. <laughs> it's a classic. I'll tell you about it as we go. Hi, welcome to Swansea, isn't it? Where the crazies seem to live. Grand old building. Totally going to ruin. There's plenty more where this came from. Let's have a look at the high street. Yeah. Might be in my imagination, or it seems a little bit more drug fueled than normal. Mind you, it is High Street up at the station, that's not uncommon, I suppose. This used to be an Argos. I am. Got you. Things you find in this area, eh? Well, this has changed. Where's the roundabout going? Everything's different. He's still calling me names from 100 yards back. Jeez, like this place, this place is so different. It's quite unbelievable. I could bang on about how it's changed forever, probably for the whole trip, but... So we're just gonna look at it as it is. This is just a quick introduction to it, really. I'm gonna do a proper look around tomorrow, I think. We're gonna see a lot more of the city and its surrounding areas. Talk a little bit about its history and my history here. Because I've got a lot of history here, obviously. There's a lot of drugs here. My God, downtown. Anyway, you get off the train, roll for a kilometre or so, down here past the old Quadrant shopping centre and then the bus station. And before you know it, you're at the seafront, which we will be at in a moment. There's the bus garage. Up ahead, we've got the marina. Well, I just thought we'd try something different. Different, it's all different to you, but to me it's different. I would never go down this way normally, through the Sandfields estate. But I thought, this might be of interest. Swansea's big house. Absolutely crammed to the rafters. Full of baddies. I.e. Swansea prison, right there. Look at that. Look at those walls. So high. Jeez. The gates are pretty impressive from the front. I might go around and have a look at them now if I can get there. Are prison gates impressive? Could be. They are to me. 
Oh my god, can I go in there? Looks like I can. What is this? We're already on the explore. This video could be three days long at this rate. Was this the bitch? No, not quite. Just a park in Sandfields. Okay. Right. Yeah, this is the Sandfields estate. I used to know one guy from here, a drummer. So I had one reason to come here once, a long time ago. Don't know if he's still here. Phil, if you're still around, I don't know. Uh, other than that, it's a bit of a strange little area. It's got a bit of that London feel about it with all the terraced houses, but I'd recognise it as Wales any day of the week. It's not for me. Let's do a very quick flyby of the prison then, just for, for why not, isn't it? We're here now, might as well have a quick look. It's funny, it's one of those buildings that you've known for years and everybody kind of ignores when you live here, you know, it's just the prison, that's just how it is. And that's it, that's the gates behind me. Swansea prison. I don't know why I'd be doing the prison, it's quite interesting, I thought. Never really had a close look at it. Like I said, normally you just go past it and it's there and ignore it. They're pretty amazing places. And definitely scuzzy, I'll give them that. But for now, let's see if we can find a bit of a view. Here we go. How does this look? Lots of people sitting around enjoying the, the spring sunshine. We're in for some good weather this week, apparently. A nice day to be by the beach. And what a beach it is. That's the county hall building. Births, deaths, marriages, all that sort of stuff, you know. And this, of course, is Swansea Bay. Swansea Bay, which stretches Something like five miles around there to Mumbles. Hell of a spot. Right? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Why aren't they in work? Thanks a lot. Just squeeze through here, hopefully. Sand, my nemesis. So this area, next to the seafront, always lots of hotels. I guess it was probably a bit of a holiday place at one point. Now they're cheap and seedy places, probably for workers, you know, accommodation maybe. People visiting, doing work, that sort of thing. There's one. It's got some musical notes on it. Trevor Clefts. Yeah, these places will be rough. I have stayed in one of them once. Another one of those non-YouTube type stories. I would say it was an interesting night after a gig. Let's put it that way. There we go. So, as if you hadn't guessed, we're on home turf this week. I'm back in Swansea, doing a little episode, meeting up with a few people, this, that and the other. So, we're gonna have a good look around. It'll add to the story, give a bit of background to my history and that sort of thing. I mean, why not? We're here, but I have a feeling, in that case, this could turn out to be a, a two-day episode at this rate. Right there on the right-hand side is the old, all white sauce Swansea Rugby Stadium. There's not much left of it really to see. I could tell you stories about that. I could tell you stories about the flat I live just behind it, almost overlooking it. Oh, it goes on and on and on. Look at this though, people are on the beach. It's like, what, 18, 20 degrees or something? It's not bad, pretty warm. Oh, that's handy, yeah. People on the beach relaxing, people on the benches enjoying soaking up the sun, walking along the prom, not bad. And of course we've got Swans University just down here, it's a university town, so we'd have a lot of students out enjoying all this. I want to have a look at this bridge, this iron bridge, they used to go across the road years ago. 
There's talk of them putting it back one day, I think, but whether they'll ever get around to it, we don't know. There it is. The Iron Bridge. Shit. I wasn't supposed to be there. I'm not going to bunny off that, am I? Hang on. Can we somehow rustle up a pull up with the bike and the luggage? Let's do something silly. Oh well. One pull up. <laughs> with extra weight and the bike. I'm happy with that. Let's get out of here. Bloody summer. This is epic. Oh, yeah. So earlier on I was mentioning Swansea University, well there it is, Swansea University welcome to, it's up there, big campus, I knew some people there once, actually I had a girlfriend who went there once, we fell out, it's bound to happen. Right, in case you don't know, this is a very high tidal region, the tide is clearly way out at the moment. So what is it, 12 hours time, 10 hours time or something? That water, which is now three, four, five hundred meters maybe back, that'll be right up here to the edge, just down here, right up close, up against this bank down there, which you can't even see. But yeah, we've got a massive tidal region here. This is Swansea Bay, but of course, the whole waterway is the, the Bristol Channel. There we go. It's pretty good. Uh, we're going to see some of it tomorrow and see how clean it is, it's not bad at all. But for now, this is a point where I'm going to turn off. And I'm going to go inland, and I'm going to head to where I'm going, and then we're going to start again all over tomorrow properly, and do some proper adventuring. Really seeing what's out there. I'll just roll down here so you can have a good look at this. We'll be back here tomorrow. Look at this. What a day for it. Unfortunately, I think there's going to be a bit of cloud cover tomorrow. It won't be quite as hot, but it's going to be dry. It's going to be warm and it's going to be nice. So we'll have a bit of everything, really. There we have it. Downtown, down Mumbles. There's a Ferris wheel. That is new. Wow, what is that? We will check that out tomorrow. Right, this is where I'm going to turn off for a bit. Cross Mumbles Road and head up the Klein Valley. Double lucky. Right then, Klein Valley to the end. Just about every area of Swansea could have some sort of story or, or significance for me. So there's a little one here on Klein Valley. I feel like it's not the beginnings as such, but it's like a big reference point of my life for biking, mountain biking in particular. Because I used my first ever cheap, nasty mountain bike, a Falcon. <laughs> hard everything, hard front suspension, no suspension whatsoever. We would come down here with a friend, Darren, you know who you are. And we'd be in these woods. And there's loads of mountain biking trails. Oh, there was, there was then. They weren't mountain biking trails, they were just trails. They didn't have mountain biking trails. It was great fun. Anyway, my mountain biking days is born out of these woods all around me, either side around here. Not averse to a little bit of off-road here and there, and a little bit of gravel, and a little bit of, you know, rough stuff, perhaps even on my cyclocross bike or my, my gravel bike. I don't mind that. Bit of dogging in the woods, isn't it? That's the way. And it wouldn't be Wales if it didn't have a rugby club. So there we have Dunvandar FC. Go. Let's have a quick ride around. Not. <laughs> Let's not do a twin town and pull wheel spins on the pitch. All right. God's sake. Not that much of a hooligan. <laughs> Here we go. My brother-in-law actually played for them. Dunvant Rugby. They're quite a good team, but quite well known in the area. No rugby today. Look at that stand. Oof. A snake. Oh, he'll have long gone. A snake, I think an adder, 
and I had it literally wriggled across the road in front of me. Oh, gutted. Oh, I'd love to have seen that. Well, I did see it, not for very long. Adders, of course, for you overseas viewers, if any of you are, are the UK's only poisonous snake. And they're not very poisonous. If they were to bite you, apparently it's like a bee sting. And the only reason I know it was an adder is because I could see its markings. They have these like a diamond pattern on them. Size, it was about 18 inches long or 40 centimeters maybe. Thin, like my little finger perhaps. Still, a snake. I'm happy with that. Oh. Wow, this place is teeming with life. So a bit of a preview of what's to come in the next day or so. So we're going to be exploring Swansea from the west and the north. And we're going to go to all these different locations. I'll point out a few things, a few places, things of interest that you might not know, things that I've only recently learned. And um, we'll go around some of my old haunts. We'll go through some musical background and check out a few of the industrial areas, a little bit of the history of Swansea. But above all, mainly to show you the scenery and what you could find in the area from housing estates, posh estates, beautiful woodlands like this, the, the beaches, the seafront, and the city centre. Yeah, so that's the rough plan anyway. Maybe we'll even get a little bit further afield, a bit further out, and see what's out there.